this vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Gay's Garage in Val Gagne, Ontario. At Gay's Garage, they have a good selection of new Ford vehicles and as well as a good selection of pre-owned vehicles. Feel free to check out their website by clicking on the link below in the description where you'll find information like their telephone number and their address. What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. Today I've got a video for you of something that I've never got on my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at a all new and all electric 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E equipped with a GT Performance Package. This is wearing a space white metallic exterior with gray cloth interior. And the tire sizes over here are a 245, 45 R20s, including the front and rear, which is pretty nice. Anyways, let's just step inside over here. Here's the key fob for the Mustang Mach-E. So I'll just unlock it, we'll step inside, and I'll show you the features. Okay, so before we get started, here's your charging port over here. You just push on that, and it opens. You just plug right into that thing right there, and then you're all set to go. This is just a standard J1772 connector. And you flip this down, DC fast charging. And this little unlock button there. It's really nice. Anyways, we'll step inside the car. So the Ford Mustang Mach-E does come equipped with a smart key system, so you're able to wirelessly lock and lock the vehicle by just keeping the key fob in your pocket. You push this little thing here to lock, and then have to wait in a second, tap the button over here, and then just grab on this at the same time. And we'll automatically unlock the vehicle. So I'll step inside. So this particular Ford Mustang Mach-E does come equipped with push button start over here. Set the key fob down and if you want to power it up, apply your foot to the brake and then just press right there. Simple as that. So we'll shut the door. And once you're inside of this all new Ford Mustang Mach-E, you get a three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel over here with sport grips over here. Dumble over here, it does have the automatic transmission over here, as well as low gear over here. It's so quiet. When you put the vehicle in first, your backup camera automatically appears with guidance lines. They're not adjustable though. It's really cool. Now on the driver information screen there, you have the uh, your battery range over here, your battery percentage, and your ground speed over here. Cruise control is standard as well. Down below over here, you have two USB ports over here, as well as a wireless charger down below. Wireless charging pad, place your phone there, and then it'll charge. You have the touch screen over here, you push this. Volume control. Really nice. We'll switch it off. Go to fan over here. You can switch this option. Fan, or you can turn it off. It does have a heated steering wheel over here and heated seats as well. Really cool. Climate controls where you can change the blower fan speed if you want, change all the different zones. Really neat. Now the Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Package has got this little thing over here. You go over here and then you go to drive modes. You actually get three different drive modes such as whisper mode, engage mode and unbridled mode so as for unbridled mode it shows your ground speed engage mode shows your battery range whisper mode really cool so we'll switch it back to unbridled mode down below over here you have your three different settings such as a propulsion sound, audio ambient lighting selection, and one pedal driving mode. That reminds me of that Chevrolet Bolt EV models and the EUV. So now we'll go over here. You have uh, radio, phone, navigation, media, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, tire pressure, trip energy, owner's manual, and games. So we'll show the owner's manual. So now we'll go to videos. Uh, driving and operating you can go to any type of thing there so we'll go to charging basics over here if 
really cool. We'll turn it up. There are a few convenient ways to charge your Mustang Mach-E. Let me explain. First, every vehicle comes standard with the Ford Mobile Charger, so you'll never be too far from a charge if needed. You can find it stored under the carpeted panel in the rear cargo area. Really nice. It includes two. Take and you can go to home oh, charging there too. 2003. Were you good at standardized Very cool. Tests? You got a nice little cubby storage over here. Your 12 volt power outlet there. Very cool. GT logo there, your armrest. Over here you have your parking sensors button over here. And your electronic parking brake. Push up to engage. Parking brake is on. And then hold your foot on the brake and then just push down. Simple as that. Down below over here, right where the headlight switch is. Max to front defrost. Traction off button down below. Switch it on. It's really cool. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip on the headlights and check that out as well. It does have automatic lights and hazards. It does have an automatic driver's side window over here. And we'll check out the exterior, shall we? It does have the BNO sound system right there. And also the vehicle will sound the horn a few times. It'll let you know if the proximity key fob has left the vehicle. Nice looking turn signals. So let's go check under the hood. Pull the hood latch twice. There is no electric motor right there. It's just a storage base there. Your windshield washer can go right in here. There it is. Cargo lighting there. Really nice. That's the place where you get access to the 12 volt battery and as well as a fuse box. So as you know, this particular Mustang Mach-E equipped with the GT Performance Package does come equipped with a 91 kilowatt hour extended battery range, battery packs. It's really nice. Anyways, we'll step inside the Mustang Mach-E, check out some more features. I had to put the key fob back in the vehicle there. Roll the windows back up. Really cool. Sirius XM. show the navigation over here tells you where to go tire pressure shows you the tire pressure there as well as games over here so let's just say you're you, you're getting stuck stuck in traffic blocks jigsaw puzzles you name it so we'll go back to um, radio Damn. Anyways, we'll show the voice commands over here. It does have volume controls over here, previous and next buttons, when you're playing on Bluetooth audio or something, or radio. Help. To get directions, say drive me to, followed by the name of the place you want to go to. To call someone, say call, followed by the name of the person you want to call. If you have a USB device connected and want to listen to music, Say play followed by the name of a song, artist, or album. Say a frequency to listen to an FM station. It'll walk you through everything. It's pretty cool. If you click on camera over here, it shows the backup camera right there. So we'll exit. Parking, driver assistance. Drive modes like I mentioned earlier. Really cool. Glove box over here. Shows you all the, the uh, information over here. Owner's manual. 2022 Mustang Mucky Owner's Guide. Okay. So I'll go shut it down. And we'll check out the back seat.
Here's the back seat of the Mustang Mach-E. It's got like room for five people back there. Two USB ports for USB charging there and your vents there. And the cup holders do come down like that. Set them down like that. And then you're all set. Pretty cool. So now we'll check out the tailgate. If you want to open it, you just hit the button twice. And then it opens just like that. And then back here, it does come equipped with a Ford mobile charging cord like that. I'll show you how to charge it in just a second. It does come equipped with this, uh, this little cord over here that plugs into a standard 120 volt outlet. And the other part that goes into the 240 volt outlet, which is level two charging. This is the standard level one charger. I'm gonna show you how to hook it up. All you gotta do is open the charging port right there. And you have that little thing that, and you got your Ford mobile charge cord. Charger has a little button on it, which is locking mechanism. And you plug it in like that. And then it'll start charging. I don't have it plugged into an outlet right now. And that blue light will start flashing. I don't have it flashing over here, but this will light up. And if you want to take the charger out, you just pull, push this button right there and it comes out like that, just like that. We'll close it up and then you're all set to go. Ready to plan a trip. Pull it out. You like to take picture? Oh yeah, I got it. Really cool. 13 hours. Yeah. Would this plug, if you have 240 garage, uh, wired in your garage? Or? Yeah, that plug that uses uh, the ones on like the uh, the stove or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, level two charging. Uh, I think it will give you like 25, 25, uh, uh, I believe 25 miles per charging hour. Yeah, yeah, about that. And the standard uh, 120 volt plug will actually give you about three miles per charging hour. It's about a 95 uh, hours if you use the 110. Yeah. If you had to charge from zero to 100 there. Yeah. But the battery, you never use the whole battery. The car won't let you use 10% of the battery. Oh, yeah. To pr protect the longevity or the life of the battery, you only get to use 90% of it. Right. So if you could use all the battery, you could do 500 kilometers. But in the summer, you do about uh, 420 and about 250 in the winter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really cool. We have a lady in uh, Timmins. Actually, she lives in the bush. At North uh, Star Lake, past Timmins. Oh yeah. And she drives 40 kilometers to work in the morning, 40 kilometers back at night, and she plugs into the 240. Oh yeah. When they had the house built, it was uh, wired uh, just in case. Yeah. Oh yeah. So anyways, we'll just go ahead and close the lift gate there. If you want to do that, you just push the button twice, and then it closes it. Simple as that. And there you have it. Now we'll check out the passenger side. It's really cool. Let's see if we can do it. Mustang Maki. Um, I think they're probably all weather floor mats over here. And you get this little animation screen right there. It's really cool. Really nice. Same thing, you yeah, know it sound system right there. And you have this little thing here if you want to exit the vehicle. It's really nice. And the cool thing I like about the GT Performance Package is that it's got nice looking rims on it. And it's got all the different trim levels, such as the Select, Premium, GT Performance, and as well as the GT Performance Edition. And the California Route 1, which is really cool. So the Ford Mustang Mach-E, like any model year, 2021, 2022, or 2023, whatever you have, you can also offer a standard battery range or the extended battery range. Our example over here with the GT Performance Package does have all wheel drive and as well as the extended battery range, 91 kilowatt hours, really nice. Well everyone, I hope you enjoy my review on the all new 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Package. Be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos and remember, like, subscribe, favorite, and don't forget to check out my other videos. As always, be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care.